Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am starting this week's vlog of which I have a couple of exciting days planned. Excuse the fact that I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> but before I finish getting ready, I just wanted to show you like how I finish my hair because some of you have been asking recently. If you're new to my channel, please do stick around and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you are a fan of my weekly vlogs. A little less glam free from the future here and I just wanted to interject and let you guys know that this weekly vlog is actually going to be switched up a little bit it's only when uh -huh. it's only going to be a couple of days because i have come to edit this video that you're watching right now and noticed that it's far too long for one vlog because we ended up doing a last minute trip to london towards the end of the week so i'm actually going to save that for a separate vlog next week so i'm going to be more active over on my instagram stories this week if you wanted to follow me it's Freya farrington one and my homework account is Freya farrington home i've been doing lots of homeware shopping out and about so i like to snap my favorite bits in homeware stores highlight them and save them for you guys to see what is in store and what i'm loving and before we just jump straight in to this week's weekly vlog i did just have two packages that i literally just went to pick up from the post office one here and one here of which this one has on the front martin miller's gin i'm gonna go into this one which is from a brand called burger which i'm working with over on my instagram they are a brand that i have shopped and loved before so i'm so happy to be working with them again one is for tom one is for me the one for tom it's the like black camo print i think they've got this one in another color as well he actually picked that out and he loves it so i'm gonna give that to him later on today then for myself I went for a bit of a different design, like a recurring tile type print, of which it reminds me very much, weirdly, of the Ivy restaurant in Manchester. It's kind of anthropology vibes, that's kind of what I'm thinking with the leaf print and the floral kind of design. But obviously you guys know I love my neutrals, so I liked the fact that it was neutral in colour. And then lastly, I also ordered a new case for my laptop because this is the case I've currently got, which I ordered off eBay, and it's very grainy, not the best quality. I mean, further away it looks all right, but it's also very yellow toned. So the case that I opted for is very similar. It's got that marble kind of design. It's a hard one so it's nice and protective this one goes on the bottom and as you can see it's got the rubber feet and the spacing for the fan this is the front if i just show you and compare side by side how yellow this one is in comparison i much prefer the more minimal look secondly here is the gin i'm not a big drinker full stop but when it comes to gin i'm a fan we have a whole gin trolley downstairs this is going to be going straight on it oh it's to celebrate world gin day and there's a little recipe card there for a strawberry and black pepper gin smells amazing oh my god it's got like this wild moss type thing inside it smells so good these strawberries are fake they wouldn't have made it that long i doubt it smells like a spa mm. this is what it looks like martin miller's gin so that's gonna go on our gin trolley downstairs thank you so much to the guys at martin miller's gin for sending me that and now let's Stop the blabbering and get rid of this less glam bird's nest on the top of my head, Freya. And let's head on to the more exciting stuff. So let's jump in to the weekly vlog. So today I am heading into Manchester. It is Friday and I'm going to meet with Lydia. We're just going to shoot a couple of outfits. It's only like half eight in the morning. So I'm going to set off in about half an hour. And then tomorrow I'm off to the Spice Girls in Manchester with Nasty Gal. And it's um, an influencer event, but they have allowed plus ones. So I am going to be bringing my friend Camille with me. But like I said, before I get started, I wanted to just show you what I do to my hair. A few of you have been asking my sort of hair care routine. And although I include them within the vlogs, I appreciate that not everyone sees every vlog, so you might miss it. So trusty tangle teaser never go anywhere without this but i use this babyliss wand it's so old i have no idea what it's called i'll try and find a link to one similar if not the exact one it's basically a really thick barrel roller i'll just grab a piece of hair and either use this or sometimes i don't even use that and i just wrap it round like so and i do that to all of my hair in slightly varying sizes in terms of the the thickness of hair so sometimes i'll grab like a thicker chunk and other times a thinner one just to get a tighter curl just to like break it up a bit so it's not perfectly 
curled. So that is it before putting any product in. And then what I'll do is I'll just grab, in fact, I'll take you into the bathroom with me, why not? This is another product that I like to use once my hair is wet before drying it. I just pop a couple of pumps of this onto my hair. Just, it's like an anti-snap, anti-breakage product. This is the oil that I'm currently using. It's the System Professional Reconstructive Alexia Luxe Oil. And I'll just pop a couple of pumps into my hand, warm it up, in between my palms and then essentially what I'm gonna do is oh, you're a bit higher up there but just comb through with my fingers in the ends of my hair I know you're kind of cut off there which is a bit annoying but so I put it more so focus it on the ends of my hair rather than the roots because I don't want my roots to look greasy let me just stand back a bit like so and then what I will do is finish it off with a bit of finishing spray. The hairspray that I am using currently is this Neil & Wolf Control Flexible Styling Hairspray. So it's essentially one that doesn't leave that like hard feeling. You know, you can still comb through it. Ooh, you can still comb through it with your fingers. But yeah, it still holds really well. So I'll just focus it again on the ends and then get the underneath bit and then I'll flip my head, spray it upside down. Et voila. Sometimes I just like to position my little fringe which is kind of growing out a little bit. I need to get booked back in at the hairdressers. Just spritz it like so. And that is my finished hairstyle so that's kind of how I style it on a regular basis I wash my hair twice a week and the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using are these ones I always use a purple shampoo so this is the matrix so silver total results shampoo and then the conditioner that I use with that is this one again by matrix it's the oil wonders oil conditioner so it's very moisturizing in between hair washes not today maybe tomorrow i will a little bit for spice girls and probably sunday we'll need to use a bit of dry shampoo but other than that i won't wash it again for another few few days i'd say every three to four days i wash it so on average twice a week without further ado let's get dressed let's head on to manchester and i'll see you guys when i get there i rode slowly on horseback to read glad of the fresh air that gave me space to think and plan passing the same old dwellings and farmhouses on the same old roads there's Lydia doing her thing in the background if you can see <laughs> right so this is this is, the, this is the building we get told off I didn't know uh, Jack Wills had moved so what's there? look it's there Manchester Small Flower Street. Show, King Street Festival. Oh, that's interesting, we've finished shooting now. So we're going to head, well I need to go Zara, to the boots. Um, I've just put in a big Zara order, so I'm so you just don't need not going to go in. Because <laughs> otherwise I'll see things and I'll be like, oh, I wish I would that as well. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think I might, I mean I've only got a bit left, Ooh. I've only got a little bit left on my parking, so I might, Grab a bike to eat and go. Oh, yeah. I just paid for two hours parking today, so. It's a quick in and out. I know, which is a shame really, because that's quite boring for the vlog as well. Like, yeah. Mm. What do you guys want to see? Let me know. When we're in Manchester, what are you interested in? I've seen people said, like, me and you going shopping and. Yeah. But usually we're here, we shoot, we have a quick browse, and then we go, and then don't we? Where's off? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. That's, that's what we're doing. Today. I'm gonna have to grab myself a Starbucks, I think, and a bite to eat. Starbucks. Oh, coat off the shoulders. I'm not eating yet today. Have you not had a boiled egg? Oh, actually, I tell a lie. I had a yogurt. That is such a lie. I am starving. How dare you <gasps> lie to me? Like what are you gonna have? Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether to go. Wait till I go home. Yeah. I just have no food on. at home, so yeah. I might just grab something from Starbucks. Sit my mum a little bit. I know. Keep... Do you share food? Do you just buy whatever or eat whatever she house. buys? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 
She Sometimes you'll like do a food shuffle now. No, she always does a weekly food shuffle because she's got a half day on a Friday. All right. Right, then she goes with my grandma. Oh, cute. Um, but I like make a lot of the meals and stuff when she's because obviously I work from home. Yeah, and she doesn't. So that's nice. All that will change chores. when you live by yourself. I know. Well, I kind of do that at Tim's now. Yeah. As well, so I've got kind of both both worlds, I guess. It will be all down to me. We just shop per meal because otherwise That's I have a load of waste. Oh, what's that car? Lamborghini. Yeah, it looks like With the green yeah. wheels and seats. Yeah. Any car enthusiasts out there, what does green calibers mean? I have no it's idea. Yeah, I think yellow is ceramic or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, I uh, will say bye. bye for Lydia and I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've actually had a change of plan in terms of where I'm going to go for food and drink because I just remembered when I was driving here, there's a place called Tim Hortons, which I've never been to before. It's like a coffee place, cafe, like it has a drive through and everything. And there were loads of them in Dubai. And I think they're an American chain. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But as I was driving past them today, again, never been in, they were saying free drinks. There were like people outside with boards saying free drinks until 10th of June. So I figured I might as well take them up on their offer of free drinks, see if it really is a free drink, and maybe have a look at their menu and see if they've got like, oh my God, my tummy was rumbling so loud then. See if they've got like a panini or something. It's half 11, but like I said, because I've not eaten, by the time I get there, quarter to 12, by the time I've got food, 12 maybe, we'll see. Uh, it's justified. Let me see if I can, I just want to pre-read the menu and see what it actually sells. Make sure it does sell food. Freshly brewed coffee and delicious menu. Oh yeah, it's like a fast, not fast food place, but it looks very American. Baked goods. Timbits, they look so good. They've got different donuts. Oh God, do I dare do a letting the person in front of me order? Not again, <laughs> I've done that once already. It's too anxiety inducing. Crispy chicken sandwich, veggie, chipotle wrap, grilled chicken wrap, I might just get one of them. Grilled cheese melt, sold. It's Friday, hashtag Friday. I can also see the uh, ticket guy lurking around, getting ready to give people tickets. Not me. There it is, up in the distance on the right. If you can see, Tim Hortons. Look, see the banners, free drinks, free drinks, free drinks, free coffee. Let's go in. Oh my God, it's busy. Woo. I actually feel like today probably would be a good day to do letting the person decide my order. I'm not going to though. I've already seen the grilled cheese, so my mind's on it. Free coffee, what's the catch? Maybe you have to buy something? It's busy, that's for sure. Everybody loves a free, but don't they? <laughs> Me included. Do you want to hear what people are ordering? I think it's real naughty food here. All I can see advertised is donuts. I'm tempted to try those tidbit things, although they've got another one that's like maple glazed. Looks a bit like a Krispy Kreme. So I could give that one a try. Let's see which one do I go for? Apple fritter sounds good as well. Oh, I'm glad I'm not just getting what she's getting caramelized frappuccino. That's it. What's the free drink that you're doing? Any small drink is free. Okay. Any medium drink is 30p, any large is 60p. Oh, right, okay. I'll have a medium. Um, can I have the iced coffee? Iced latte? Yes. Yeah. A medium? Yes, please. Any flavour shots? Uh, no flavour shots, thank you. Okay. Um, any baked goods, any Timbits today? Yeah. Um, can I have a grilled cheese, just on its own? Yeah. And... Uh, I'm just seeing what donuts you do. Uh, do you have like a, a Canadian maple glaze, or am I making that up? A Canadian maple, yeah. Yeah, one of them. I'll yeah. have one of them, and also an apple fritter one. No problem at all. That's it, thank you. Yeah, that's five pound ninety-seven each next window for you. Thank you. Thank you. Free drink turns into a six pound order. Of course it does. That's good. So medium is thirty p. 
and large is 60p but it's such a big drive through here so I've just parked up because there's a bit of a wait although he said it'll only take a minute for the grilled cheese so I've got my iced coffee by the way I'm not planning on having all of this now I'll have my grilled cheese now and then I'll have a taste oh he's coming out now he's coming out now false alarm it was just a customer walking out the shop I'll keep my eyes open so um so yeah I'm not planning on eating both donuts now okay someone is coming out now oh god that is sweet mm. yum oh my god that's ridiculous okay so oh, where do I start oh, I've never had one that sweet before why is it so sweet it must be like coffee syrup but oh my mm. I feel like my brother would like that George if you're watching which you're definitely not but who knows okay so the Oh, it's not a ring donut, the maple glaze. It does look good though. Let's go in with the grilled cheese first. This is what it looks like. Yum. This is naughty. I've been good all week. And I feel it. Like, I feel like, well, I know I've lost a bit of weight. Not that I've got loads to lose, but, you know, I had a bit to lose. I'm not going to lie. And I have lost like five pounds in a couple of weeks. Mm. Cheese string hanging from your chin. Not good. Name the film. That is good. It is quite reminiscent of living in America. I've said that like, what, 20 times now? It's very American. But it is, that's just what it reminds me of. All the cheese on the top is sticking to the bag, which is a bit annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> if this doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what will. Mm. I'm going to get on the road. It's not illegal to eat and drive, is it? Well, I do it anyway. Uh, now I'm going to try the sweet treats when I get home. So, see you when I get home. Also, I'll have missed a couple of parcels which I knew were arriving this morning which is a bit annoying so I might try and pick them up later but I did have another parcel arrive yesterday that I wanted to show you so I'll show you that when I get back I've got some new straw bags straw bags perfect for summer in my opinion I love them this is one of them actually it's from a brand called New Chic and it's got like a drawstring top as well so that's one of the four new straw bags I bought from uh, the brand New Chic this isn't ideal for some reason the road that I need to go on has been closed and I have no idea where I'm going. I think I might even divert and do some charity shopping in Bury because if I'm going to have to drive through it anyway, or Rottenstall, yeah if I'm going to have to drive through it anyway it's only midday so let's have a browse at the charity shops and who knows what I might find, might be fate. You guys literally have no idea how stressful that journey was I had no idea where I was going following my sat nav but it's basically taken me an hour and a half hour to an hour and a half to get pretty much halfway home of which I've pulled in at the uh, charity shop just bad traffic there must have been an accident or something the whole roads were closed down and everything so I'm gonna try my little uh, donuts now whilst whilst I've calmed down for a minute so this is the apple fritter one Oh my god. Can you see the cinnamon in there? And all that glazing? Sugar fingers. Okay, let's quickly try the maple glaze and then I'm going to pop in. I'm actually doing a charge shop haul soon, so I might include it within that. Wow, the sugar. I'm going from fairly healthy eating for a couple of weeks to that is uh, quite an intense change. So let's go have a look at some charge shops. And 
finally back home after what seems like such a long journey, longer than normal. Let me just open this. The parcels that I missed, they were delivered to a neighbor, so that means I've got them. Two of which are actually from Pretty Little Thing. One of these bags is gifted. The other bag I bought and I want to review because it's the recycled collection. So they recently brought out a line which is sustainable. It's from made from recycled materials, including bottles. So I feel like that could be a good separate video for my channel with me wanting to move slightly towards more sustainable fashion, the thrifting element, the charity shopping that I do. I like buying second hand. So I'm gonna save that for a different video, but the other gifted bag I might include within that same video. So I'm not gonna open that just now, but I did get two bags from Nasty Gal. We both went for like midi ruffle skirts and this is her little tee that she has chosen and it says, what does it say? It's all good baby baby. And then the skirt that she has gone for is this, I'll leave these links below by the way, if you want to buy them yourself. She went for this ruffle skirt, which is a lot shorter than it looks online. How interesting. I think she's going to think that that is longer than what it is. I'm not sure how these are going to fit, so I may end up just wearing my own. But I'm thinking chunky trainers, leather jacket, tee, like basic tee and ruffle skirt. These are more sneaker style. I feel like concert, I want to be comfy, want to dance, want to enjoy it. So just a plain white sneaker style. Oh, that's the door. Ooh, delivery's on fire today misguided i think i might include it within the pretty little thing misguided haul if i decide differently then i'll show it later on in this video but for the meantime where was i plain white sneaker my ruffle skirt that i went for is a leopard print but it's quite dark hence why i'm thinking maybe a black tee with it this is the skirt i chose see how that's longer that's how i imagined that one to be so look at the difference in length Oh, I'm so excited. I'm feeling very scary spice with this, even though I was always baby spice myself. She was my fave. I feel like maybe it's just the blonde hair, I don't know. Oh yeah, I picked up this black bum bag as well. I figured if it goes with the outfit, I might just wear this because it'll be so comfy. I'm gonna be able to have phone, vlogging camera, keys, money, and then I can just be hands-free dance along to the Spice Girls without having to worry, you know. The other thing I want to show you, so there was that straw bag from New Chic. That is what that one looks like. And then the other ones that I wanted to show you that they sent me are, firstly this one, which is a far more structured, like hard shelled handbag with a little brown faux leather clasp. It's navy on the inside, but you don't really see that, so that's fine. The next one that I went for is this. So this is far more casual. I'm thinking more beach vibes. And it also comes with an insert little pouch here to keep all your belongings nice and safe and secure because obviously it's a holy bag. And then last but not least, I went for a white one. It's kind of similar to this one. It's a little bit bigger and it has a slightly different pattern but it has that same clasp. So it's slightly more spacious on the inside and the inside has this beige like ecru colored fabric so nice and neutral very my style as you guys know if they're still available online i will leave them linked i need to get on with some editing for my next video so that is going to be me for the rest of this afternoon and then i'll check in with you guys again tomorrow where it's the big day bye bye when to become one who had the spice girls video not even on dvd video in the like tin can box <sighs> i feel like i need to re-watch the spice girls movie this afternoon at some point it's saturday and we're off to spice girls any second i'm just wearing this nasty girl black tea nasty girl skirt which i showed yesterday my leather jacket's hung up and ready to go and then i'm taking this bum bag this is genuine leather as well by the way uh which i didn't know nasty girl did so i'm gonna pack a little bag okay so obviously taking the camera i hope they don't take it off me i'm sure we're allowed a camera and take my little purse this is just a little louis vuitton coin purse which i got for my 21st birthday some money in there and then i always take a bobble with me especially going to a concert if i'm hot i need to like put my hair up i just can't stand 
like hair down when I'm hot. So I've got a couple of bobby pins on there if I want to like style it or whatever, put that in my bag. And then I'll take some chewing gum, which I need to go and get some. Oh no, there's some here. Always take chewing gum as well. Okay, and then I'll try and fit in this little brush. I like to just sometimes brush through and just give it a bit more like volume again. So it has comb on the other end, which is great for back coming if I want more volume so I take that everywhere with me I'm gonna take a mini little perfume this is the Aura Mugle and then I take a brush which doesn't have anything on it so I don't have to take loads of like powder and foundation because like I said I'm only taking this having a brush just helps like blot out any shininess so I always have a brush with me and then my favorite lip liner which is the number seven is it precise precision lips pencil in nude and then on top of that I'm just going to take this which is by Ashley Jewel it's a anti-aging plump it's just a lip gloss which I just have in my bag with me all the time it gives you that tingling feeling but I just apply that on top and then I never get that horrible line if I'm wearing lipstick all day I end up getting that so by just wearing a lip liner and a bit of balm or what I've currently got on is this La Mer the volumizer it's called I really like this I don't know if it comes in any other shades but even if it did, this is the only one that I would go for. It's just like a nice hydrating lip balm. So that on top of your lip liner, you never get that horrible line or like dry lips from wearing like a matte lipstick or anything. I have this to blot my face. And then this eye brush I just use to sometimes, if it starts creasing a little bit, I just blend it out. And I just find, even under my eyes, I just find that like gives me a fresher look. <sighs> I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous. I always get nervous about going out and about and doing things. Uh, but I know I'll have a good time. Oh, I need to put earrings in actually. I've got a couple of necklaces and rings and bracelets and yeah, I need to pick some earrings and then we'll get on the road. We're on the vlog. This is Camille, my Hello. friend. We are heading off to Spice Girls tonight as I've been telling you about a thousand times. Nasty Girl have just called as well. So they've answered our question about parking because apparently we have VIP parking tonight, which is nice, nice little perk. We're in a box. Never been to Etihad Stadium before, have you? No, never. Never. I was listening to Spice Girls earlier, in my Spice Girl jam on, and we were thinking we listened to Spice Girls 22 years ago. <laughs> I was watching Gogglebox last night as well, and some of the girls on it that were like, do you know where you're going? Left yeah. here. And some of the girls were saying um, they weren't even born when they split up. So that made me feel old. So we're gonna be the proper groupies, like supporting Spice Girls. I know there's Tim Hortons, which you'll have seen that I did the other day. They're still doing the free drinks and it's packed. So we are actually gonna go and meet Camille's friends from when you lived in London. Yeah. We're gonna meet them for like an hour or so, have a drink with them and then head on to Etihad. Well, actually we're going to the restaurant first and then Etihad. So we're super excited and can't wait. We'll see you soon. Uh, just on route, like everyone's telling us to go parking. No, I think we can see the stadium in the distance, not quite sure, but this road is where we get to the restaurant. Oh, yeah, I think is that part of the stadium? Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see no. when we get there. <laughs> it's a bloody gas tower. It's, a, it's a, <laughs> or water. Oh, no, because there's no wa water. Well, the water. Tower, whatever it is. I have no idea. It's a skeleton. It's oh, not a stadium. Here oh, here we are. We're here. So, where's the car park for it? Well, there, but how do we get in? Um, Oh god, have we gone past Here? it? Here? No, we've gone past it. Oh no. Oh no. We need to turn around. Maybe go left here, but that's where we're going. Little outfit of the day. I've got everything nasty gown pretty much. Jacket is old, but if it's still available, I'll leave it linked. Uh, basic black tee, little midi skirt, nice bright white new trainers. And then my little bum bag. All nasty gown, all will be linked. And now we're going to head into Vermilion Cinnabon. Mm -hmm. Camille's in all nasty girl too. Is that how old is that dress? I wonder if it'll still be on. It's maybe a year old, but I think it is. Oh, They've got a similar one on. I saw it. I'll leave a similar one linked then. I think they might have booked a wedding on the same night, but never mind. This is our jam. We've eaten, we are en route. I'm here with the girls. Well, I'd say there's half of us. There's two more girls meeting us there, and then there's probably about 10 of us in total. So 
we are gonna head try and find out where we're sat where we're parking and then we'll see you when we get to here there's another water tank now <laughs> we've arrived we've got our little car park badge on and uh, i think we're going in the right direction and we've made it well, they're not gonna make us walk up spirals. i hope not i've never been to city ground i'll probably never come again <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> When the show starts, hey, get brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.